Hello everybody and welcome back to our tips and tricks series of Dot 2 video clips. My name is Michael Quincy Stratman. I'm from Tech Support here at MA Lighting International. We are in our little series about the clone command and in our first video clip about this we cloned color presets. I did it not very specific. I just cloned from six spots onto four auras, which are wash lights. So does this make sense? Uh, not, but this was the most asked question, so we give it a first fast shot. Now we should look a little bit into the details of the clone command, just a little bit. Don't make it too complicated. The first clip we used a macro called clone single preset type. These are the preset types and we cloned color information. Now we have a special case as well. We cloned from spots or from this fixture type to a totally different one. You will not run into any difficulties if you just expand your show. You have six spots and you need two, six, four more. No problem with that. Clone. If you have different types of fixtures, of course you must have a look what makes sense to clone and what not. And this is what the clip is about, this one. You see, we've got dimmers in both of these different fixture types. So that could make sense. We have positioning system until it makes sense to clone. Gobo doesn't really make sense, ah ah ah, because we have auras which are wash lights. We cloned already the RGB values, so pure color mix values, makes sense. And so on. You really have to compare what makes sense if you clone from one fixture type to a different one. This is what I want to mention. And you see my little auras are in front of my six spots. So it depends also, especially when we talk about position preset, it, you should have a look what makes sense and what not. What I want to show you in this clip is the command clone itself. And I want to show you not to do it with all lights. Because let's go back to color. These are our color presets and let's watch the values. So, I went back with my show file before we cloned in the last clip, so we haven't cloned anything yet. You can see this, this preset is available only for these spots. Okay, guys, do it. And now we have a look. These values are the same anyway. So I could have said clone only from one spot to these four. So this works as well. If we watch positions now, stage front, which is available only for the spots, but we maybe want to make it available for the auras as well. You see, these are the same values as well. And on top, we haven't given a pan value yet. So yeah, simply straight down. Let's make some bright audience as well. Just we edit tilt. So this makes sense to clone. This makes sense to clone. When it comes to spread values, you can see I spread it some out. Whoopa, we should have a look. And this is what we want to do in this clip. These lights are in front of the others, but the positions are similar. So I want to use the clone command now, but I don't start at one. First of all, we've got six lights as source and four lights as a target. But I choose them a little bit more clever. So I ch will choose them now from two to five and not from one to six. Because these positions are similar. So how do I get there? I just clean my programmer. It, you don't need to do it, but it makes more sense to have a clean up console. So how do I get the clone command if we don't want to use the macros? MA copy gives you clone. Clone fixture 2 through 5, these ones. Add fixture 7 through 10. If we now say please, it would do it through the whole console, over all executors and so on. So we have to limit this command. Clone fixture 2 through 5 at fixture 7 through 10 if we talk about this preset or more presets. The preset number is 2 for position 2.12. So clone fixture if preset 2.12, please. Now you're going to be asked, 
clone one pro object, yet sets true, it's one preset, cancel, low prior merge, things that are already set for these slides, should they be overwritten or not? Yes, I don't care. So I say merge, totally overwritten, fine. Now we make the test again. Who of you can do this? All of them. Okay, guys, dim up and do the spread. Now these values from this four lights are copied onto here. And this makes sense. So, please don't clone through everything. Pick out what makes sense to clone. This was an example. And uh, hope you like it. Stay tuned, guys. We're going to do one more for cloning. That's it for today. This was Michael Quincy Stratman from Tech Support here at ML Lighting International. Stay tuned. There'll be more.